Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this October 30th, Tuesday, 4.40 a.m. Central Time. Had to take the day off yesterday. Uh, my wife, Sheila, had to uh, have a outpatient procedure done, so all that went well. Everything's fine, so I took off, so uh, took an extra day. Back today, though, back at it, and just in time for some very nice weather today, like we had yesterday, even warmer. A little bit of a breeze is going to kick up today, and then, of course, everybody talking about Halloween and the rain that is coming in, and even the potential for some flooding rainfall. Uh, Heavy rain is certainly a possibility and could put a damper on your trick-or-treat plans. I'll try to break all that down for you this morning first of all yesterday's high 66 one degree shy of average at the bowling green airport that happened 321 p.m yesterday afternoon average high 67 37 was our low temperature for the day that uh, was six degrees cooler than the average of 43 one year ago it was a chilly day for october 29th in 2017 a high of 44 and a low of 30. No rainfall past 24 hours. We're still holding at 4.93 for the month. That gives us a surplus of an inch and 78 hundredths. And there's more rain to come. And as I mentioned, it looks like it's going to be heavy rain for us. We could pick up a good two to four inches of rain from... Tomorrow afternoon and evening, all the way through Thursday, maybe even early Friday morning. As you'll hear in the forecast, it is going to come a gully washer. Well, maybe a frog strangler. It's going to be pretty close. <laughs> frog strangler. That that ties right in with Halloween, doesn't it? So this is not a treat. This is going to be a trick that Mother Nature plays on us in time for Halloween. Today, though, enjoy it. Mostly sunny, breezy, and warmer. With a south wind at 15, we're going to warm up all the way to 75. 75 this afternoon. Then tonight, partly cloudy, breezy, mild, a low of only 60. And then Wednesday, Halloween, tomorrow, the 31st, increasing clouds for the first half of the day. Then it looks like by late afternoon, rain slowly begins to move in as a front begins to move this way, and then it's going to stall out. And right along that front, right over us, that area of low pressure is going to ride along that front as it stops here. And that is what is going to squeeze out a ton of moisture. Lots and lots of rain. We could even get a few thunderstorms. Uh, tomorrow afternoon the rain chance at 70 percent so a lot of communities have decided to change their day of trick-or-treating some of them have moved it to today i don't i can't keep up with the list but we have the list at wbko.com don't ask me because i will not know the answer and please don't why can't why can't they move why can't Look, I don't know why I have to say this every year. You guys get it. But, I I mean, you think people don't know that they live in America. And you can trick or treat any time you want to. (laughs) We get people, what time is trick or treating? Why don't they change the time? They know it's going to rain. That's not fair. My kids are crying. And I'm like. Let them trick-or-treat when they want to trick-or-treat. It doesn't have to be on Halloween. Get with a neighbor or a friend or a relative. You know the weather is going to be bad. And just go over there and have some candy and have a party. That's what you ought to do. Then that way you don't have to put up with all the fuss and muss of Halloween with the, the heavy rain and all that stuff. But such as it is, it is going to be messy We'll see uh, a high of 62, well, let's say 73 on Wednesday, then a low of 56. Gusty wind, southwest 18 to 40. 
Yeah, 40. Then Thursday, the first day of November, 100% chance of rain. Cooler, 62. Northwest winds, 18 to 26. Friday, cloudy, cooler, 58. Saturday, mostly sunny near 60. Sunday, as daylight saving time comes to an end, this is when we fall back one hour, a high of just 65. That's not bad. It's more where we should be this time of the year. By Monday, another chance of showers moves in with a high of 68. All right, that will do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on Midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com and to your Alexa device. And later today, don't forget my radio show. I'm back there too. Classic hit Sam 100.7 between 3 and 7 p.m. And online anytime at BowlingGreenSam.com.